Fire crews continue to work at the crash site of a train and a semi carrying propane. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Andrea has the evening off. Callaway, Minnesota is north of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, about 20 minutes. The crash site is near the town whose population of about 220 was evacuated as a precaution. The train belongs to Canadian Pacific, which tells us that seven empty cars derailed along with one locomotive. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons is live at the scene. She joins us now. Natalie, what's it like out there? Mike, I am at Beautiful Savior Lutheran Church, located about a quarter of a mile uh, from the site of the crash, just outside Callaway. Earlier, you could see the smoke in the distance. The plans as of now are to keep the tank cool and just let it burn out on its own. The driver of the truck has no reported injuries, but two people on the train were treated for non-life threatening injuries. Local, county and state agencies are working as a team in an effort to make sure the situation does not take a turn for the worst. Anytime a vehicle ends up against a train, it's usually not good. So for crashes involving trains that people can walk away from, I'd say that people are very lucky in that sense. I mean, it could always be a lot worse. Law enforcement went door to door evacuating the town of Callaway and little, a little before 1 p.m. this afternoon, and the Red Cross has since come to help. I was told that those evacuated are now being escorted to their homes if they're in need of medication. And if you're driving along Highway 59, your north detour is Becker County Road 14, and your south detour is Becker County Road 26. In Callaway, Minnesota, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. All right, thanks, Natalie. We'll have more on this story throughout the night on valleynewslive.com and, of course, on Valley News Live 10 at 10.